Hello, hello, Andrea Majeski here with Dental Health Tutoring. Let's talk about how you, how you can feel more comfortable taking a test, especially if it's been, let's say, 20 years since you've taken a test because you've been in the dental hygiene uh, profession for a while, but you are audited. So if you have thought about it long and hard and you don't want to do your portfolio because you would have to get organized, you would have to put all of your courses together, you might not have, have taken any courses for a while, or even if you have, you just don't know how to put it all together, it does make more sense to take your quality assurance exam. And I say this because that means you do not have to do your portfolio I was audited about six years ago and I did my portfolio. Even with your best of intentions, it can be tricky to stay organized and you end up putting it off until you can't put it off anymore. And then you have to submit this portfolio, but you just might not feel comfortable enough doing that. Um, because if you don't do it well, then you will have to submit it again. But so if you wanna take the quality assurance exam, but you have other challenges too. So not, not only talking about the portfolio, but now the exam, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I haven't taken an exam for 10 years, 20 years, I don't even know how to get started. So it can be very, very nerve wracking, but I'm going to talk about how I can make it so much easier for you. But just first know, you're not alone. Even if you've taken your board exam two years ago, and it's time to take your quality, um, 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 quality assurance exam because you are audited it can still be nerve-wracking because hey we all want to pass right if you knew you would pass and be successful you probably wouldn't be worried about taking the exam so then you're thinking of everything else well if I don't pass do I have to do it again do I lose my license do I do this do I do that so don't think about all of that because you will pass your exam and I'm going to, to, to tell you how and how to be a lot more confident doing it. So um, have a look inside my um, dental hygiene quality assurance um, 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 study guide, study guide. So I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom here. So have a look, but this is what it all has. Okay. So notice how module one has one topic. So I try to keep things simple. You do need to know a lot for the exam, but you don't need to know as much as you think you do. Trust me. And in my opinion, Opinion, reading all of these modules over is a good thing to do anyway because if you haven't opened up a textbook or taken courses for a while it's good to read over things because this is all things that you have to know for your practice anyway but notice how in all of the modules I keep it simple and there's a mock exam after a lot of these um, topics too because it's one thing to read through everything but then you don't know for sure if you're on the right track or if you actually understood it so let's say you were going through module number four read through all of these PowerPoints it's not going to take you a couple hours it'll probably take you a couple days to a week even depending on how long these PowerPoints are but then after you feel comfortable learning everything in module four take um, the mock exam afterwards to see well are you actually comfortable um, and then if you do well on the mock exam then you know okay well I can move on to module number five and then module number six but let's say you don't do well that's okay that happens but but then that means you have to go through that module again read over the parts that you didn't quite understand and then you will do a lot better next time so I don't just simply give you guys PowerPoints I give you mock exams after that because I want you to really know if you understand the material if that makes sense so this is the best way to be confident because if you're confident in what you're learning then when you take your your exam you won't be as nervous it's normal to be nervous, but you won't be nervous because you're thinking, okay, I didn't know what to study. I just took a textbook, studied a couple chapters, that was it. But you will feel so much more confident taking this course because you will know that all of this is what you have to study. So I have been tutoring 
on the quality assurance exam since it actually came out. And everybody says afterwards, like, yes, that was a lot of material, but that did help me for the exam. And that's the main thing, right? Is that you want to take the exam and go, oh shoot, okay, that's a hard question. But I do remember in module three, we had talked about that. So you will, um, you will feel so much more confident taking the exam since you have this clear study plan in place. If you feel confident, you will be less nervous. So does that make sense? And I am always here to help. So please let me know if you have any questions, if you need any help. Um, we have a lot of people inside the course and they are all saying this has helped them so much. They're not all done studying everything yet. Um, but everybody says this does help a lot. So obviously that is a good thing. And everybody who has taken um, the course so far, so talking about last year, they were all able to pass their exam. So I take that as a very good sign, right? So people who take this course pass because it just helps them bring everything together. So you do not have to purchase a $200 textbook no, this will give you everything that you have to know, not too much and not, not enough either. Okay, so just everything that you have to know. So let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. Thank you so much for listening. I will leave the link for you guys to sign up for this on the bottom because that would be... Oh, I just wanted to open up the sales page. Ah, here it is. So I will leave the link for you guys to sign up on the bottom here. This has everything that you need to know for the exam. Thank you so much, you guys. And I will talk to you uh, pretty soon because I'll be uploading an, an, another video in about like two hours. So I will see you um, very, very soon.